We are in Lindenhurst, Long Island, and we're going to All Star Comics on rock, paper, scissors. So let me know if this is your LCS and we'll check it out together. Let's go inside and see what they got. They have some nice signage in the front here and there is plenty of parking. There is a humongous parking lot. They have t-shirts, All Star Comics. Let's go inside. Knock, knock. Hey, All right, the owner is saying hello and calling me over. Cool. Oh, I love this. The DC was a variant. I love this book, man. It's awesome. I don't, I don't read those. Not as good as Deceased, but it's pretty good. Deceased is, Deceased is actually really good. Yeah, it's I'm awesome, man. Right? I'm not a huge DC fan by any means, but I did enjoy this. All right, the owner wanted to introduce himself. His name is Guy and show the layout of the store and the ratio variants here and the store exclusives. And then he's got some boxes on the table that he wants me to look through. Some key boxes or comic books of uh, interest. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. It helps out the channel. Ring that little bell. It'll let you know, it'll notify you when I upload uh, new videos. And we have that's the first magic, right? First Juliana. And here are some boxes that he's showing us of interest. He's saying, go through these. There's some cool keys in here. So let's check it out. And let's dig through these boxes. Let's go. Terra number one right there. You know, I'm a big fan of that Scott Snyder indie book. And we have some uh, Godzilla. Some more uh, New Teen Titans. Kind of cool uh, little uh, short boxes here, right? And he laid some out on the table to show us the uh, layout of the store, where the new books are, where are the semi-new books, where are the store exclusives. And we are in the back of the store here by the register looking over the stuff and he says he does most of his business now online majority of his business is online so we'll see what we got here if this is your if this is your LCS let me know in the comments below if I'm missing anything or if there's something obvious about this store that we should know and he's got a couple of short boxes out here for us so let's go through these books here let's do a little montage and look through these books These Secret Wars books are turning up everywhere, right? In a lot of comic shops that you go to, they're all over the place now. I guess because they're making a movie about it, right? Isn't there an animation coming out or a film or a streaming service? Something's coming out with Secret Wars. So I guess the comic shops have so many of these that now they're pulling them out of their storage. Because every shop you go in, now you're seeing Secret Wars all over the place. So I guess these shops just have, like, comic books aren't really rare. They have so many of them in stores, they're starting to pull them out when the books get hot. You're seeing them all over. Here's Dark Shadows, little run here, kind of cool, right? And then we have uh, some Outcast, Deadly Class. These are the image uh, dollar books, the number ones. Book of Death. Look at this. All right, and I got uh, Nemesis on the left there. Was that a Mark Millar book? Oh, look at this Planet of the Apes. This is awesome. Look at this. This is on Boom? Did I miss that when it came out? It's the greatest franchise ever, Planet of the Apes. All right, we got some more X-Men, some Avengers. And let me know if I'm missing anything in the comments below. 
And let's see if we can walk around a little bit. I wanted to check the new books. I want to check the wall and maybe some of the statues. But he is throwing these short boxes at us. And oh, we got some Spidey here, some Daredevil. All right, very cool, right? And there's some Star Wars here. All right, so we got some Vader, some Star Wars, some droids. Here's this, uh, the Volume 1 Star Wars, right, from the 70s? Here's another Secret Wars book. That's the first uh, Spider Girl, right? Oh, yes, Conan the Destroyer, the movie tie-in. I think Conan the Destroyer might be better than the first one. Maybe the, the second one's maybe better? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Daddy, chill. The Destroyer was pretty awesome. Do it. Do it! And there's some more short boxes here. Here's what we got some ghosts. We got some indies. Prodigy. That was legitness. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! All right, and I think I wanted to grab that DC versus Vampires when I came in. And I wanted another new book. I forgot the other new books when I came in. I gotta start writing these down, right? You forget when you come in. Don't! And here's that Jeff Lemire Descender. Here's a cool book right here, right? Some Supergirl, Catwoman. Nice House on the Lake to James Tinnan. This is a hot book of number one. I think that was 10 bucks. And Superman, Son of Kal-El, number one. Little Thor here. Bruh. Classic trade dress there. And here is Reborn. Oh, let me see what this is. Pull this out. Maybe I should grab this. Thunderbolt. Count Crowley. I think I have that book already. Count Crowley. Heartbeat. All right, these are some indies. This is that Cullen Bun, Man or Black. The Girl in the Bay. What is this? Check this out. All right, so he has a bunch of long boxes here, too, along the uh, tables. And he's got some posters and some statues, some statuettes. He's got some new books along the left wall there. And stay till the end. I will show you what books I got at the end. I'll show you the books that I grabbed. Midnight Sky. Was that a Scout Comics book? It's a cool little indie box, right? Some image, Scout... Cult classic. Boom. Wow. Riverdale. You guys ever watched that show, Riverdale? Spawn. Some bloodshot. Let's do this. All right, let's check out the new books here on the uh, wall. There are some uh, nice house on the lake there. There is uh, Impact Winner. DC versus Vampires. What are we on, number four or five? Mandalorian. So uncivilized. Harley Quinn's got a new series out. This Impact Winter was pretty cool, right? And look at this. Amazing Spider-Man number 55, the uh, variant cover, that Gleason cover, and he has a whole stack of them, and he is saying these are $2 each. I think this is the third print. Two bucks. He's got a whole stack of them. Here's a little Rebirth box. Check out some of the Batman Rebirth. Oh, look at all these doubles. And this looks like a lot of the, uh, was it All-Star Batman? Any flash in here? Have you read a flash? Nope. Here is uh, James Tinnan in the closet and Twig. 
and some more long boxes here. Some Funko Pops, some posters, some statues and statuettes. Kingpin, remember that movie? Kind of a funny film, right? And stay till the end. I'll show you what books I grabbed. He's got some comics showcased in the glass here. Some X-Men and Hulk. All right, that was uh, All-Star Comics. Stay with me. I'll show you the books that I got. The owner was in there, Guy. He was like a super cool guy, hooking me up with some books and leading me into the cool sections. And he showed me some cool uh, short boxes. So uh, stay with me and we'll go over the books I got, all right? Let's go check it out. All right, I do two at a time here. Two books at a time, nonstop action coming at you. And this is We Live Number One, a comic, New York Comic Con exclusive on the left. And I think this is the first volume, the first series. And that was for a cover price. And on the right, we have Mindset Number One on Vault. It was 10 bucks, and it was a, uh, what was it, one in five ratio variant? But that uh, Mindset, I thought it was kind of cool. And it was in his exclusive section in the front. So I thought I would pick it up. I thought it would look kind of cool. And then on the left, we have a Mark Millar book, Reborn, issue number one. Um, I don't think I have this, but I think I remember reading about this, that it was pretty good. And on the right, DC vs. Vampires. This is an exclusive variant cover. I think it's, uh... Uh... I forgot what he said, uh... SHUT UP! What shop? It was an exclusive shop cover. I think it was Frankie's Comics. And then we have that, uh... Sp I mean, Spider-Man 55, the Nick Spencer run. And this is the third printing, right? The Gleason variant cover with the webbing. Like and subscribe if you guys like the content here. Ring that little bell. It'll notify you when I upload new videos. And these books are just a great idea. There's web covers. People are going crazy over these. And these were two bucks each. Two bucks a pop. He had a whole stack of them. These things were all over the place. And then we have J.M. Mateus on writing duties here. The Girl in the Bay. It looks like an indie that he wrote on Dark Horse. And I was like, oh, let me try to pick this up. Let me grab this. Um, he usually writes some really great stuff, like Craven the Hunter and stuff like that. And on the right, we got a Millar, Mark Millar book, Nemesis, Issue 1. Makes kick-ass look like... Wow. Is that true? <gasps> Let me know in the comments below if that's true. This is on the Icon imprint. And we are going to check this book out. The hyperbole there on the cover. I grabbed the last issue, number 12, of Secret Wars. It looked like it was in good shape. It looked like it had crisp corners and looked like it was in uh, solid shape here. But I remember when this came out when I was a little kid, and this storyline was completely contrived. Uh, it didn't make a lot of sense. It was anticlimactic, the ending. People were very disappointed by the ending. It was a total downer. It made no sense. And wrestling was very popular at the time, and it seemed like a cheap excuse to have a battle royale with all the superheroes and the villains, like copying WWF. Battle Royale. It was very contrived. But now, in the, in the current era, people are saying this is legendary. Like, this is one of the great... It was great because it sold a lot of books, or it was a great storyline. I just remember it being very confusing. People weren't unsure of it. It got lukewarm reviews. But now people are saying how great it was. But these are all the books that I got. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. That was legit.